hello, hello. There we go. Helps when I turn the mic on. Good morning. Happy Election Day to everybody uh, here in the United States. If that is a happy thing, I don't know. Wow. Look at my hair. I look like a hippie. I got to shave my head. That's way too much. All right. Uh, welcome. It is time for Baseball Dailies. Uh, no baseball going on this week. That's kind of sad, but uh, we'll try and fill in here. I do have something that I got to get to here shortly, so we're going to make this one kind of quick today. But if you're new here, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple of baseball weekly, uh, weeklies, daily stuff like Immaculate Grid, uh, Walk Off, uh, sports connections from the New York Times, all that kind of stuff. Uh, usually we'll maybe watch a video or something as well too, but today I got to make this short and uh, I got to get some stuff together for a podcast this week too. So uh, don't want to skip on that. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's start off with uh, connections, sports edition. So here we go. These are usually pretty quick. And uh, if there's a baseball one in here, that helps me quite a bit. But um, And I see the word inning, so that's good. Uh, I see inning, half, and period. Uh, we're trying to match four things here that uh, kind of go together here. So I'm going to go half, inning, quarter, and period. Those are obviously periods of time in uh, games. There we go. Sections of a game. Uh, let's see. Home. I don't know if that would be home uh, home plate or not. Uh, I see linebacker, safety, kicker, and quarterback. So that one's a pretty easy one for American football. Okay, apparently not. <laughs> oh, well, there's tackle, too. I mean, that's a position. Uh, so we got to figure out some of these other ones to see which one of these four does not belong there. Hmm. Okay, uh, I see Margaret and Clay, which could be names. I don't know what those would be. Cheer, home, full swing, drive to survive. I still don't know how these are not there. Um, safety could be a score too. So let's just for fun here, try tackle. Nope, that's still not it. How come when I don't do these on stream, this is super easy and I blow through them and then I look like an idiot here? Um, all right. Well, let's do this. Let's uh, let's shuffle these around a little bit. We're going to forget about that for a minute. Drive to survive. I don't know what that is. Clay. That could either be a surface or a name. Um. Clay Dowripple, wasn't he a baseball player? I know there's ba basketball, Clay Thompson, but we don't follow basketball, except for he's from Wazoo, so we did there. Um, let's see, a home, could be a place, could be a base, cheer, full swing. Boy, these are not really jumping out at me as easy as that first one was. Uh, let's see, if you tackle somebody, or that could be fishing tackle, but again, that doesn't match with anything here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, okay, well, let's do this. <laughs> let's do things that I have no idea where they would go. I wonder if Margaret, uh, Margaret, what was, who beat Billie Jean, no, that was Billie Jean King, but wasn't there a, a tennis player named Margaret? Well, obviously there was at some point. Um, I don't know it. Here we go. Submit. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I have no idea. This is a tough one today. I do not know what any of these are other than positions for uh, sports. And since we've got to make this a short one today, we're going to just take a wild guess here uh we're gonna say oh i wonder if kicker is that like a poker term i wonder if any of these are poker terms that i am unaware of because i don't know that stuff um let's do linebacker quarterback and 
uh, sometimes they they're like minus a word that puts them all together. Um, oh God, I don't, I I really don't know. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because I want to get on to the to the other stuff. We've already guessed that. All right, let's see what they are. This was embarrassing once again. Fo- Did I not choose that like three times? <sighs> Margaret Court, that's who I was trying. And okay, did I not though? Change did I not choose kicker, linebacker, safety, and tackle like 17 times? Well. Again, this uh this stream is called uh idiot streams stuff. So all right, uh let's get to the immaculate grid today. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit better luck with this. Uh, if you're new here, rules, got to use Ricky Henderson if he fits in a uh, square, which he does not today, which is a rarity. Other than that, we look for people that uh, we talk about on the podcast quite a bit. So that's 80s, 90s, early 2000s guys are just unique characters. So uh, let's look here. Played third base and all-star. Well, this is an easy one for me because we're going to put Don Mattingly there. Because uh, why not? Don Mattingly, last uh, lefty to play third base in a Major League Baseball game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's do all-stars first here for the Tigers and for Atlanta. For the Tigers, oh, well, we're gonna. this is going to be an easy one for us. Uh, Lou Whitaker. Uh, remember, I believe it was in 86, 86 or 87 when it was in the Astrodome. And uh, he left his equipment in his car at the airport. And so he had to go and uh, buy a jersey, a Detroit Tigers jersey from the uh, from the stadium. And then in a black Sharpie, put his number on the back. Uh, so we'll definitely use him. Atlanta. Um, I mean, obviously, the, the late 90s and early 2000s is littered with Braves. How about... A not so often talked about Atlanta any player anymore. How about Javi Lopez? I man, I mean, I can admit he's a good looking man. When I lived in Atlanta and Javi was playing, that was uh, he was very popular. Just saying. Uh, all right, let's do these teams versus teams versus, and then we'll do the third base last. Uh, let's do Atlanta. Well, let's do Texas. Let's go down. So we'll go Texas either on Atlanta or the Tigers. Now, O to B McDowell, for some reason, I think he was on Atlanta, but I don't want to risk that just yet. Um, let's see. Well, Julio Franco, I mean, there's your obvious answer right there. He was on both teams, but I mean, he's been on just about every team, so we won't use that unless we get desperate. Uh, let's see. I don't think Kenny Rogers pitched for Atlanta. In fact, I'm fairly certain he didn't. Um, I'm just going through pitchers first. I like to just think of random pitchers and see if they match up. So we've got like Mike Witt, Kenny Rogers. Um, (laughs) is that where it ends? John Wetland. He's off the do not talk about list, as I mentioned last week. So we could, we could use him. Um, Al Albuquerque, ooh, Al Albuquerque, right here. We're doing it just because that is the. See, I do this. I I jump into these things. I could have sworn Al Albuquerque played for both the Rangers and the Tigers, but obviously he did. So I've screwed up already. Uh, that's why I need to think before I do this. Uh, let's see. Rangers, Bobby Witt, not Mike. Yeah, it's a Witt. I'm an idiot. It's a Witt. <laughs> um, let's just think of some position players here. So uh, let's go around the horns. First of all, you got Pudge. He w- now he would fit there, but that's probably too obvious. Um, first base, you had Rafael Palmero. Uh, Didn't play for either of those teams. Uh, Second base. uh, 
uh, uh, Michael Young, but I think he played his entire career at the Rangers, somebody like that. Um, how about Jeff Hewson? I don't think he played on either of those teams. Um, uh, let's see, third base. What about St uh, Steve Bouchelle? I don't think played on the Tigers. That would be a good answer. John Elway's uh, roommate at Stanford, Steve Bouchelle. Uh, all right. Uh, Jose Canseco, of course, played for the Rangers. Uh, Ruben Sierra. Oh, we could do Ruben Sierra here. Because I'm, again, I don't, I can't be 100% sure he played for the Tigers, but I'm pretty sure. Um, Cecil Espy. I feel like he played for both these teams, but I don't know for sure. Um, just trying to think of some... I like the mid-tier guys. Like, uh, you know, if we're thinking Rangers outfit, like Juan Gonzalez. Okay, Juan Gonzalez played for the Tigers too, but I think he was a little bit better than mid-tier, although he was a Royds guy. Um, boy, I'm, I'm tempted... I'm tempted to try Ruben Sierra. I mean, we've already messed up this grid anyway, so why not why not try and why not try and mess it up more? Hey, there we go. All right. Uh Rangers and the Braves. Uh, let's go around the horn of Atlanta. We got Javi, got Andres Galarraga. Did he ever play for Texas? I don't know. Um not sure about that. Uh all right, so we got uh, Andres Galarraga, we've got Sid Bream, didn't play there. Uh, second base, got Mark Lemke, Raphael Belliard, um, Brett Boone. Um, let's see, we go to shortstop, we got Furcall, we got Weiss. Um, Third base, we got Terry Pendleton. You got Chipper. Mm, uh, let's see, in left field. Boy, why am I having a hard time remember, remember, remembering left fielders for the Braves? Um, Gerald Williams. Uh, obviously, Andrew Jones. We got Gary Sheffield in right. Uh, pitchers, you got, you got the big three. Ooh, how about Kevin Millwood? Oh, Kevin Millwood would work in both of these. But I'm going to put him here because I want to try and remember. <sighs> For the Brewers, uh, he came up with Atlanta, and I do not remember his name, so this is going to be hard. He played third base, but he could play anywhere on the infield. I It's not Ty Wigington. Um Boy, I'm never going to remember his name, so I don't know why I chose Millwood for the Rangers. Uh, let's go down the down the line here with Milwaukee. Uh, we got Molly, obviously, didn't play in either of those two teams. Yount, obviously, didn't play in either of those teams. Uh, Daniel Vogelback, he's my go-to now. Uh, no, CC Sabathia. Um, Hideo Nomo, didn't, I think he played one season. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up with Kansas City. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Don August. Uh, he only played for Milwaukee. Um, bu 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 let's see. Second baseman. Fernan Ooh, Fernando Vina. I think Fernando Vina played for the Tigers as well. And I'm trying, well, I'm trying to remember. I think he was on Milwaukee when Albert Bell ran him over. Fernando Vina. Uh, let's see here. Other people. I don't know why Niger Wilson keeps coming in my mind because he's on our do not talk about list, but he always pops up. Um, let's see. What was his Dave Nilsson was the Australian catcher, but. I don't think he played for the other two teams. I think Graham Lloyd, another Australian, also played for the Brewers at some point. Um, let's see. You got Yelly. You got Curtis Grant. Oh, Curtis Granderson could go here as well. Oh, let's do this. Gary Sheffield came up. 
with uh, with the Brewers, Gary Sheffield. Uh, I think I've told the story on the pod uh, for the Tigers. We did some work for the Tigers way back when, and Sheffield was on the Tigers, and it was near the end of his career, and he was really bad. Like, I thought it was over, but he ended up going elsewhere and doing more Gary Sheffield stuff. But he struggled so bad in Detroit that when he came up to play, we did not show his season statistics. We showed his career numbers because they were so bad they didn't want to show his season. That kind of stuff goes on. All right, so we've got Atlanta and Milwaukee. Kevin Millwood. I already used him. Um... Let's see. What about Bruce Chen? I don't think he played for the for the Brewers. Um, Eddie Perez. Ah, I don't think he played for the Brewers. Um, yeah, this. I'm just going through all those Braves games I had to work, and I can't remember people because I'm getting old. All right, well, let's do third base. Uh, See, now here at the Rangers, I'm tempted to put Adam Rosales. One, because he's awesome. Uh, A's legend. But he went back and forth between the Rangers and the A's about 15 times in one year. Um, But he played everywhere in the infield. And I would be willing to bet that he played third base at least one time. And it would be a super low score if he did. Um, boy, I want to do that. Yeah, again, we've already screwed up this grid, so let's do it. Uh, let's see, Adam Rosales. <clears throat> Keep your fingers crossed. Hold on to your butts. There we go. Point one. See? There you go, Rosie. Uh, let's see. Third base for the Brewers or Brewers and uh, Braves. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Let's go do the daily walk off first, and then we'll come back to this. Let's give it. A, let's give it some time to ruminate in my brain. All right, so here we go. Walk off. We're in pro mode here. Let's see here. Franchise top ten appearances, twenty seventeen hit two sixty five or more. Well, we know that's not Chris Davis. If he's on here, he's not. Mainly played first base and mainly played second base. And I see Ricky Henderson, and this is definitely here. We're just going to put that up there. Uh, mainly played second base. That would definitely be Ellie. Played first base. That would be Bemo. Ryan Healy, I'm going to put here because he was a third baseman. Yeah, I'll leave him. Yonder mainly played first. Jamile Weeks mainly played second. Jed Lowry mainly. Okay. So these are good here, first and second. Doesn't mean that they aren't somewhere else. But uh, let's put the great Jambino there. Now, I do not know who Pete Sutter and Harry Davis are. I am willing to guarantee you that they are Philadelphia Athletics. I have no idea. Ah, Scott Spezio did not play for the A's in 2017. But Yonder Alonso might have. So BMO might have too. Yeah, Jed Lowry might have. That might have been his first go around. Jamile Weeks. I think that Jamile Weeks was before that. And Ellie was before that. Um... Wow, franchise top 10 appearances. Ellie might be over here. And since I don't know who these two guys are, Pete Sutter or Harry Davis, that's going to be a hard one. Um, Let's see, Spezio. I guess Spezio played first if I got to put him here. He definitely didn't play second, but I think he was a third baseman. Um, I mean, franchise top 10 appearances, I know these two are correct, because Jambi could be over here, but nobody else would be over here. Ellis could be over here, and then one of these guys, Peter Harry Davis, could be second base. Let's do that, just for fun. 
Uh, all right, let's. We know Spezio is wrong, so let's move him. I'm thinking maybe Bimo. Uh, all right, let's try. Pete Sutter again. Pete Sutter and, and Harry Davis. I do not know. Ryan Healy did not hit that well, did he? He he had to have. All right, let's just see what we got. <laughs> all right, so there's. I don't think I've ever gotten an out on the A's. Uh, all right, so I think that means. Well, I don't remember. Does that mean we got one right or one? <laughs> we're missing one. Um, all right, let's put Ellis back over here. I just, again, I don't know about Harry Davis. Uh, and we know one of these are switched. It can't be Spezio because he was not playing in 2017. That was right around Healy's one or two seasons here before he got traded. Yonder, I don't know if he hit 265. That would have been around that time. Hattie was gone at that point. Uh, let's just do... Yeah, Healy was a third baseman. I'm pretty sure Healy's got to be there. Let's switch Yonder and BMO, and let's go again. All right, we're getting closer. All right, so we've got one on each. Let's, <laughs> Harry Davis and Pete Sutter, let's change them up. And then we'll change one up here. Well, let's put these back. Maybe Bimo went over here, but maybe Pete Suter was a was a first baseman. And maybe Harry Davis was the second baseman. All right. Now we're right back where we started. Ah, this is uh this is what happens when you let an idiot try to do this. I am so thrown off here because there are so many people that could go in different categories. I mean, the only other player in 2017 that was a member of the Oakland Athletics would have been either Jed Lowry or Jamile Weeks. They were both second basemen. None of these were. So we know nobody here goes over here. All of these, well, BMO and Yonder were first basemen. Healy was a third baseman. Spezia... I am downright stumped. Hmm. I am not able to work this one out. They have really stumped me today, walk off. Uh... I think Jamile Weeks was just, I think he was before 2017. I can't move him. Um, we're just going to move those two. I, I don't know who those guys are. And then none of these guys were in 2017. So one of these guys has to go. So it's got to be. What if Harry Davis was the second baseman too? And then we move Jed Lowry over here with Yonder. All right, this is it. We're probably going to lose. Oh, wait, I still have one of these guys is not correct. And it's probably Harry Davis who beats. <laughs> All right, Harry Davis is coming over here. <laughs> All right, just go. Put me out of my misery. I didn't get a single call right. <laughs> Look at stupid Pete's. Okay, go away. 
Pete Sitter and Harry Davis. All right, 217. Scott Spezio at second. See, that's what really screwed me up. I mean, I'm sure that they're right, but wow. All right, uh, last one. We're going to do a random uh, random team here. We'll choose, and we'll go fail at them. We might need to put it. All right, let's not choose the team that we just did. Oh, great, the Nats. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all expos for me. All right. Oh, it's the same categories too, so that's tough. All right. Um, well, here, here's an easy one. Gary Carter, franchise uh, over there. Larry Parrish. I don't remember him playing for the expos at all. Uh, let's see. Anybody else here that's an easy Well, Ryan Zimmerman, that's an easy one. Hey, Josh from Ordinary Effort. I, it is killing me here. I am absolutely not good at this. <laughs> I have never failed the A's at all. And I didn't get a single column right today. So now we're doing a random team here. We're doing the Nats, which for me will probably be more Expos than, than Nats. Uh, and see what we do. And we still got a couple of squares on the grid left. I messed up on Al Albuquerque, which I will never forgive myself for. Um, so we've got a couple that we're going to come back there for, but uh, let's see. Parrish was 70s at third. All right. Well, then that would mean that he would be on the franchise top 10 appearances. Larry Parrish... Was Larry Parrish really in Montreal for that long? I would I would think it may be somebody like Rendon. Um, Jose Vidro, Trey Turner, Bryce Harper. I mean, Harper wasn't there that. Adam Dunn wasn't there that long. Danny Espinosa, he was a gnat for a long time, wasn't he? Dimitri Young, Demet Hook. Came up in 75, 76. Boy, okay, well, here, let's do some of these. Nick Johnson, first baseman. Um, I'm going to put Rendon in the average. Vidro was a second baseman. Adam Dunn was a first baseman. Nick Johnson was a first baseman. Uh, Dimitri Young was a first baseman. Uh, average in 2017, that is might be good and then belliard was bell i don't want to say belliard was like a third baseman but i don't know he might have and harper is up harper has got to be in appearances right or no i bet harper's here how about that parish has got to be see now I, now i messed up because uh, Larry Parrish, I don't remember at all being with the Expos, let alone that long to be a top 10, uh, top 10 appearances. Hmm. Might be a time just to give it a go. Let's see what we got. All right, well, we got the easiest category, <laughs> and we didn't get an out. Little victories. All right, so Larry Parrish. I guess Larry Parrish has got to go in the appearances. Um, But who played second base? I mean, I guess Trey Turner mainly played second base, or is it Danny Espin? I mean, Larry Parrish has to be in the top 10 appearances. So we'll put him there. We'll put Rendon here. I do not remember where Danny Espinosa played. But let's just, we didn't get an out that first time. So, all right. So now we're just down to these. Mainly played second base. 
well, I guess Danny Espinosa mainly played second base. Um, I think Belliard was like a third baseman. Did I think he had some pop, didn't he? Vidro, I'm locked in. Trey Turner can pretty much play anywhere. Maybe he was a shortstop. All right, let's let's switch Espinoza and Turner first, and then we'll just swap them back if that's not. There we go. Yay, we did something right. Our first thing today. All right, let's go back. We've got one guess left here, so let's make it a good one to get this score down. Let's see if we can get another Adam Rosales-like uh, number here. I think the easiest one... God, I'm going to have to look up who I'm thinking of, the third baseman for the Braves that played pretty much everywhere. And I know his name because my wife and I used to used to talk about him. Like, I think my the second date I went on with my wife, I took her to a Braves game. I took the day off from working it and got we got sat down in the front row right by where I usually sit. And he was at third and Chipper had the day off and I was telling her about him about this guy because I liked him because he played absolutely everywhere and I don't remember what his name is nor will I remember so let's just uh, uh, let's see Tony Graffanino wow great Paul great Paul I would have not known that he was on the Brewers, but man, I remember Graf from Atlanta. That is a great poll. That would be a really low score. All right. Well, here, look. So, uh, if you don't know, uh, Mark and I are going to be on the Ordinary Effort uh, podcast doing this exact same thing this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching this Josh is like I don't know if we want this idiot on <laughs> all right well I'm I'm gonna take your I'm gonna take your advice here we'll put Tony Graffanino in there what what was his uh wow a point two very Adam Rosales esque uh let's just see here uh six point there another goal is to never get the most popular answer which we did not do at any point here. So, um, Henry Aaron, that, that was the most popular answer and it never even occurred to me. Uh, Tex Scherzer, way too, uh, way too contemporary. Prince Fielder. Yeah, I probably should have thought of that. Miggy Schmidt. I mean, you're ne wow. The most popular answer only got 6%. Uh, Molly and Adrian Beltre. I mean, those are those are all too easy, all too easy. The hardest one for people to get was the Brewers and Tigers, which we got Sheffield. So uh, hats off to uh, hats off to uh, Josh for uh, Tony Graffanino. We got uh, think guys under one percent. We got Rubo. We got Rosie. And we're going to give Mattingly the uh, the nod there. But there we go. Yay. All right. Uh, like I said, this is a short one today. I got to go. Wow. I got to go like right now. Thank you for uh, jumping in here. I'll put this on YouTube as well. Uh, I'll probably be doing this again next on Friday. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to uh, sub to the channel so that you can get alerts. Uh, when we're going to go live and uh, maybe we'll get Mark in here one of these days to do this if we can get him up at this time. But uh, that's it. Thank you uh, very much for jumping on with me today. Uh, this was fun. You got to see that I'm an idiot and can't finish most of these games. <laughs> oh, wait, no, stop. Hold up. We are going to find out who I was thinking of. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to Javi's, uh, baseball reference page and let's just pick like a 2000 season and let's find out who I was thinking of. Oh boy. These are good names that I have forgotten. George Lombard. D-Row played for a lot of people. 
Um, kill, oh boy, Kilvio Varis played for Atlanta. I remember that. He would have fit in. He played for the Brewers, didn't he? That would have worked. Uh, who is the person I am thinking of, though? Utility infielder and outfielder. Really played everywhere. Um, bum, bum, bum. Boy, I, I mean, we're getting to the end of my time with Atlanta, and I cannot find out. Mike Hessman is not who I was thinking of. Mike Hessman, the all-time minor league home run leader. Uh, Robert Fick played for Atlanta. That is one you never remember. I cannot find who I was thinking of because I don't think I don't think I worked for the Braves in 2004. Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. I don't remember. Uh, all right. Thanks again. Uh, thanks again. We'll see you uh, on Friday. If you haven't voted, go out and do that. If you're here in the U.S., I'm going to shave my head because I look like a hippie. And uh, yeah. See you on Friday. Bye.